Bang, bang. They're like it's purposefully awesome. on yes. his ass. Like it's not just like, oh, this just, uh, it's gonna fade into your ass. Is that okay? Yeah, it's fine. No, this is like, I want two tattoos on each of my ass cheeks. <laughs> All right, guys, what's up? I'm out here with Chris today. We're uh, sitting in the car. We're gonna be rating skateboarders' tattoos, good or bad, it doesn't matter. We've got a whole bunch of skaters' tattoos to look through today. And uh, yeah, this was Chris's idea. He hit me up and I was down. Cause uh, yeah, I don't think anyone's done this video No, I've yet. never, I haven't seen it. And uh, the reason I hit this amazing man up is cause he's an amazing skateboarder as well as a, a tattoo artist, as you guys know. And thank you, thank you. Couldn't find a better person to react to some tattoos. Yeah. So, on uh, skateboarders. So the first tattoo is uh, Billy Marks. We Billy got, Marks. we got a uh, Monopoly man. Yeah. Uh, as you can see. And the other tattoos around it, you know, okay. I, I, can't I can't skate, skate. but uh, how do you feel about the Monopoly man right here? I like the idea. The idea is mm -hmm. sick because he's running with a bag of money. Mm -hmm. um, I feel like it could have been done better. I mean, it says free hand jobs, so, oh no, that <laughs> weren't free. So, I mean, it looks like he just did it, like just banged it out in like 40 minutes, which is fine, but like, it's like a, like a... You look at the other tattoos around this tattoo. There's like the Thrasher font says, I mm -hmm. can't skate, the dice. I think that's a switchblade on it, his... Yeah, it's a switchblade right there. That's like that... We got some stake figures over here. Yeah, that's like that gnarly skate rat style mm -hmm. of tattoo, which is popular. Like, yeah. people hit me up to tattoo that stuff, and I'm like, I can do it for you, but it's going to look clean. I can't do it sketchy, because I, I just don't know how to do it. Like, I'll sit down and do the tattoo, and it'll come out clean. I can't. I can't. Unless yeah. I do it with my left yeah. hand, I could make it sketchy. But... And... and uh, I know Billy pretty well. He's a good friend of mine, and he he purposefully likes to get bad tattoos. Like That's a style. All over him. Yeah. This one, I don't I don't hate it that. I actually I kind of like it. It's definitely different. It's an interesting style, and it's on his hands, so yeah, hard place to tattoo. I assume. Yeah, it's hard, and the skin heals very differently there because it's so thin. You can see how swollen his hand is already. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And you're always washing your hands. You're always doing stuff with your hands. Yeah. So tattoos on your hand take a time to heal, you know? Yeah. We got Jeremy Rogers. Oh, dude. Himself. When you told me about this idea, I was like, we got to do Jeremy. Like in my head, I was thinking, we have to put Jeremy yeah. Rogers on the list. So we got the rapper himself. Shouts out Jeremy Rogers. Jezza, as we would say in Australia. To be honest, I, I can't really read most of it, but uh, that's his neck tat. I fear no man. Oh yeah, that's yeah. I fear um, no man. This is a very like, I feel like this is a very early 2000s style script tattoo mm -hmm. because like Times New Roman. Yeah, like <laughs> it's it's like the eyes super big and then there's like the capitals on <clears throat> each word. Um, I mean, if you were to glance at it like this, it's kind of hard to read. Yeah, I, like, it, it, I think that the fear is the hardest one to read. It looks that, like that one's Jean kinda... or Lean. Yeah, that's what I thought it was at first, to um, be honest. Yeah, I mean, I whenever I tattoo someone's neck, I always say, like, you have to go big or go home. Mm -hmm. Doing he something like... Big. Yeah, doing something like this is a ballsy move, especially back in the early 2000s. Mm -hmm. Like, getting a neck tattoo was, like, a big deal. But, I, I mean, mean, yeah, I, mean, I would give it a... I don't know, 5 out of 10, just because I feel like it could have been executed better that's all i i feel as though this tattoo was done by his friend in his garage yeah that's so, that's what i was getting at it looks so. like a quick like yo my homie can <laughs> so. help me up real quick with this neck tat like all right uh I, I love what you've done with your career jeremy but i'm gonna have to say this one's a four remember he he does he, he was like one of the tats. first like yeah. skateboarder with a face tattoo yeah he has a couple on his face he's got a microphone yeah he has he a microphone like, he, yeah he was gonna he, be a rapper he was he was definitely one of the first people to really be like tattooed up skateboarder yeah. like he yeah. was like tattooed everywhere and yeah. like you didn't really see that as much like especially back then when when visible tattoos weren't looked at it wasn't like a, that like yeah. it wasn't you don't get these kind and of like, tattoos at that point. He copped so much hate over oh, the yeah. microphone tattoo. And now face. everyone's doing it. Yeah, now every, everybody has a face everyone tattoo Everyone gets face days, tattoos, you know? neck tattoos, and he was like, he was in the era when getting that's like, oh, why would you do that? Yes. That's such a bad idea. Like, yeah. But he was doing it he at just, that time. Full so. sand. Okay. Shouts out to Chris, because he threw together, the, I only had like a few skateboarders in mind, but he like dug through the interwebs and just oh, found every it. It photo. Fun. There's so many, skateboarders have a lot of tattoos, yeah. so. All right, we got we got Braden. I don't know how to say his last Savrinsky. name. Savrinsky. I can never pronounce his we last got these name. On his, we got neck face on his knees. Okay, it's pretty funny. It's <laughs> I don't it, need yeah. you. 
This is like, it's just cool. I like yeah. it because you can tell it's neck face yeah, straight you away. You, you look at it, it's oh, neck face. And it's like, it's a funny joke. It is a good joke. And I think if you're walking around at the beach, wearing some, wearing some beach shorts, yeah. it's pretty, I think it's hilarious. And yeah. I think a lot of people would think that as well. 100%. It's, it's drawn in neck face style. Yes. And I don't hate it. I, I, I don't hate it either. A lot of people watching this video Oh, it looks like a, a yeah, cartoon. Yeah, but like if you look at Neckface, he's this is his that's his style, style. and style yeah. of artists. When you can still get it the same way on the body, it's it's yes. really impressive yeah. to me. This is like collector piece for mm -hmm. sure. The one hundred percent. It's like it's kind of funny and it's done by a well-known artist. So that's one hundred percent a collector piece. I would rate it a good seven and a half out of ten. Yeah, I'm gonna give this one a seven as well because yeah. I I like this one and just. Having neck face tattoo you is insane. Yeah. So I'm definitely dope. that one's crazy to me. <laughs> well, we got a we got a good one up next. He's had this one for a long time. He's he's put a lot into it. It used to just say it used to just be the word, but now there's a lot around it. He's fully made the collage. Okay. And, uh, we got Ryan Sheckler's I, back I piece. had it. Okay. When I was younger, I used to watch mm -hmm. Life of Ryan. Life of Ryan. Yeah. Life of and Ryan. he he got the back tattoo mm -hmm. when he On was like show. 16 or yeah, 17, like young. super young. I remember it. His whole ha family has tattoos. Yeah. yeah. His dad family. is like yeah. covered, his brother covered. Yeah. yeah so it's like, like, I remember seeing it and being like, that's sick. But like that, that back rocker is like a big mm. Southern California. Mm -hmm. Like you put your oh, last yeah. name, yeah. you put your neighborhood. Yeah. So that's sick. I like it. I think it's a sick tattoo. I can, yeah. And I can see, I can see, because it used to just it? be Sheckler. Yeah. And then he got like some kind of tribal piece. Oh, that's on, like a, in the background what almost? do they call it? Sacred geometry. Okay. Yeah, that's like a sacred geometry style. What's underneath it? It looks like San Clemente. The He's city. from San Clemente. There's a bowl. Yep, that's a bowl. That's a yeah. skate park's bowl. A sunrise, some palm trees. For a back tattoo, the, and oh, some skateboards on, with wings. And okay. See, it's a bit busy for me. It is read. a lot. It's a lot of stuff, but... Yeah. From Okay, from here up, without looking at the city, I really like the tattoo. Yeah. It's done really well. It's... You know, he has his name on his back. Yeah. A lot of people would look at that strangely, but I don't mind it. It's done it's well. Sick. Yeah. He obviously had very good professional yeah, tattoo artists. Yeah, he had like a it. legit tattoo artist work yeah, on that, so, that piece. Yeah, I like that from above up. Yeah. It's a it's a it's a nine out of ten from above. Once he put the city in there, it's not awful. I'm not saying it's bad. Yeah. But it made it for me personally, it made it go down a little bit, but still gonna do an eight because it means something to him yeah it's not done badly it's just a lot on him he, you know? he went into it with the right thing mm -hmm. he was like i want to put my cd on my back and that it's on his back but like mm -hmm. as an artist myself i would probably rate it like seven just because i feel like the city of san clemente could have been done it a needs bit. a lot more shading in the buildings just the buildings yeah, you know what buildings. i thought they were i thought there was like empty cards like yeah. empty playing well, cards yeah because right down here it looks like it's done a lot of shading work and then when it gets to the buildings it looks like the artist was like i'm too tired yeah i mean my, just like, chuck in some little windows yeah. on the buildings and stuff maybe yeah. we got okay we're gonna start with this guy we're gonna start okay so he had this tattoo first and uh he got it covered up we're gonna show it it's uh it's his mother and uh, the placement is not smart. Not a smart choice for placement. You've never seen this? No. Yeah, this is uh, this is one of his first tattoos he ever got. First one. This is one of this is yeah, it's one of the few oh, first ones. Oh. This is uh, Nigel Houston. This is a young Nigel, pre like chatted up. This is his mother, and uh, you can tell that they're. Why did they put it? They why put did it the a artist put it there? Bad for? placement. Ba this, this is a not a bad. Yeah. Or. See, Bad placement, really bad placement. With doing portrait style tattoos, like if someone comes to me and they're like, yo, I want to get a portrait of Elvis Presley, sick. But if they're like, I want to get a portrait of my mom, I'm like, ooh, I don't know yeah. if I'm comfortable doing that because everybody knows what Elvis looks like. You know, yeah. you could make a little mistake and you'd still be able to tell it's Elvis. But with this, it's like, you have to make it perfect to the photo to a T, which is like, I feel like the artist did do a good job at almost too achieving good. that but where they the placement is like that's her nipple almost yeah, uh, yeah it is it's placed where her and like almost where her nipple is and it's his nipple in maybe place. he didn't know that they were going to do it like that maybe he just seen the stencil of the head and the hair and definitely went, did not know he was like yeah that's sick he ended and up then getting it covered up laid there for eight hours and then all of a sudden he's yeah. there's a nipple in the middle <laughs> of the tattoo i don't <laughs> like he covered it now? Yeah, he covered it. I'll what show you he, what he covered okay, it with. Okay. We're but uh, see, we're another thing about this that I, I think is interesting is when when you do a portrait of someone, especially of their family member, 
you know, you want to do it accurate to the, the photo, but yep. sometimes you want to embellish it a little. They made her look kind of old around the mouth. Yeah, see, and it's, it, it's not very flattering. Yeah, when you're, you know? when you're tattooing these types of pieces, you have to be, you chip away at it, basically. It's all layered. You're doing the mm -hmm. lighter tones, the darker tones, and it's only one false move. You, 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 you put in a little bit of dark gray that isn't meant to be there, and it can make them look completely different. So you know? all in all, not terrible, awful placement, and I don't yeah. know how any him or the artist or if he had friends around were like, yeah, that's great. You he know? looks quite young. He looks he's like very he's like eight, 17 he's seven, or 18 uh, or I think he got his first tattoo at 18, so yeah, probably so, 18, 19 is and, when he got and, this. And I know his mom is a big part of his yes, life, yeah. so it's like, that's sick. He's she's a great tattoo. person, yes. you know. First tattoo, mom on the chest, awesome, but just, I don't Bad know why placement. the artist placed it yeah. like that. And uh, so I'll show you what he covered it up with. Okay. You can still see. Okay, I never knew it was there. So that mm -hmm. is a good thing when you're getting a cover mm -hmm. up, as in people will look at it and be like, oh shit, I didn't even realize that was in there. Yeah, you can't even tell. He's got He a... got it, it looks like he got it almost lasered off. Yeah. Almost, because you can see it uh, a can little bit. See you can see the tiny bit. Yeah. And then he got the compass. compass clock, rose, geo. Geometric. And then again. just like. He has really good tattoos. He has. Very well executed yeah, tattoos. Very Don't get me wrong, they're very well tattoos. executed. Like, um, he got blasted up really yeah, fast. Quick, like quickly, that, really quickly. Because I don't yeah. know how old he is now, but he first got his first tattoo at 18. Yeah. I think he's what, like 25, 26 something right now or something? Like that, yeah. And his whole body's covered. Like, he is, he got quick, you yeah. know? And uh, I look at his story all the time, he's always getting a new tattoo. Yeah, yeah, same. And, uh, I see him. He's always getting tatted. He he has really good tattoos. Yeah. He, his tattoos are per very professionally done. I just feel like, no shade to Niger, like rad skater. Yeah. I just feel like when you're getting tattooed very quick, mm -hmm. at, in a minimal short amount of time, sometimes you can get tattoos that are cool within the period mm -hmm. and then five years ten years pass and it's like people go remember that yeah. trend when everybody yeah. got those tattoos i yeah. feel like he has a lot of those tattoos he definitely is getting tattooed uh a lot of his tattoos are definitely like this is what's popular right now yes it's like the it's this like the like, thing okay, this is what's popular and that's i mean he got yeah, cover of inked mag for it you know yeah, it's very yeah. Popular. and that's fine if you want to get those tattoos then get them you know yeah and we're gonna we're gonna have to blur this one in the video is this is uh, this when he has his ass out but this like, is his uh his ass okay. tattoo yeah i can't believe he got his ass out <laughs> it's so good you know what it's so good it's so he, good again he has very well executed tattoos yeah. to be able to sit through a big solid geo piece like Two. that on, on your ass Two cheek, of them. he must have sat he must have just laid there <laughs> and just 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 copped it because, and then how do you sleep and sit for like a couple know. weeks i don't know that's, that's it i don't know how you use the toilet because yeah you can't oh. sit on the seat yeah painful tattoo and i think i don't know what, you know what made this tattoo become so viral it's not it's not because he's naked in the photo it's because there's circles on his uh, butt cheeks. I don't know like, why. It's making his butt cheeks even more circular. I under, he was He's probably like, I'm going to tattoo every inch of my skin yeah, on my body. For sure. For and I'm sure. going to get... So he was like, let's just go big or go home on the ass. Yeah. He has his lower... Um, what do you call it? Spinal cord? Uh, that bit? We well, Here in America, I'm sure you call it there too. We call it a trap stamp. Tramp stamp. Tramp stamp right there. But like it, it, the top of it goes into the top of his it ass. It does. It goes be into his... Very ass. painful to get tattooed. <laughs> Oh, man, he, he 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 can he can he can lay and get a tattoo. He can yeah, pop he a can. tattoo. He can, he's has. I mean, his, his too. He but has, it, can it, get it, tattoos for sure. I, I can see the other geo dot work stuff, which is cool. There's a lot of geo on him. Yeah, a lot. but I just, I mean, maybe the artist was like, "Yo, am I still coming over to tattoo you tomorrow?" Yeah, man. What are we gonna do? Oh, uh, let's just do some mandalas on my ass cheeks. Easy. <laughs> Maybe he just did that. We don't know, cause we, you know. I don't know. You never know the story behind it, but yeah. Cause like usually when you get your ass tattooed, you have a big back piece and the background goes <laughs> on your ass. It's kind of there, yeah. But those are like bang bang. They're like, like purposefully ass. on yes. his ass. Like it's not just like oh, it's just oh, uh, it's gonna fade into your ass. Is that okay? Yeah, it's fine. No, this is like I want two tattoos on each of my ass cheeks. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we got Rob Deere. Oh, woo! This Classic, is a... giant monster back tattoo. This... Still don't know if it's real or not. It looks real. The video yeah. he did, it looked real. He um, he got this tattooed on Fantasy Factory. I'm pretty sure. God, and he so he bad. he just sat there and just took it and got tattooed and got a big monster logo on his back, which 
I mean, I want to know. I want to know how much they're paying him because he's got a brand deal with Monster. But like, it's, why would you do this? He, kids. Rob is a businessman. Don't do this. Rob is a businessman. He's like, yeah, dude. Like, I've got this brand deal with Monster. Like, why not advertise the logo on me for life? Not, not a good idea. The tattoo is done well. Yeah, I mean, it's the monster logo. <laughs> Dude, it's the the lines are very solid. He would have had to line it and then line the other side, then color in. The, the black. color is done really the well. Color is really the color well. is done really well. But huge piece. He could have got the it like higher back. He could have got it the size of his palm on his leg or something. He decided Massive to do his, his whole back. Whole back, undeniable. Yeah, and my estimate, this tattoo would have probably took a good. Four or five hours. Look at the shading of the green. I mean, yeah, the blends are really nice. Yeah, and just you're tattooing like he's standing straight. When you're tattooing someone, mm -hmm. you stretch the skin out. It mm -hmm. almost like it becomes double sides because yeah. you're stretching the yeah. skin. Yeah, when so they like, yeah, because you so when you're tattooing their back, you're gonna be stretching it, right? Yeah, he, he would have been hunched over like this, okay. and he's back. So then the, when he goes back up, oh, so you're gonna be ta you're tattooing differently than they're actually gonna yes. end up looking. That yeah, is you're following the stencil, and then once about. he gets up, it's all correct. But that's like, hard to think about when to you're do that. tattooing. It's just all stretched out. Yeah, and like, that warped. that's impressive. That's impressive so to, like to do he, stuff like that. Okay. Where do you think the hardest part in the body to tattoo is? You think where, where is that? Like back of the arm up here, yeah. hard to get a good stretch, mm -hmm. and then the top of your, the back of your thigh, just below your mm -hmm. ass cheek, very hard to get mm -hmm. a good stretch there too. Mm -hmm. Ribs and that are difficult, but not as hard as like the spots that are hard to stretch the skin out. Yeah, I mean, I definitely say that 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 back tattoo has got to be hard to do. He just, <laughs> and uh, I would, gonna... I'd rate it. I don't know. A six pack, monster six pack out I'm of ten. I'm gonna rate it a, a six 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 out of ten for monster <laughs> energy drink. That is it That's for it. The, the tattoos of today. Yeah. Yeah. Um, comment below if you wanna see us, part two. Yeah, see us do comment, one of these again and comment if you enjoyed the video. Yeah, uh, definitely. Definitely more pro skateboarders. You wanna see their tattoos as well because we're open to yeah. to more people. I'm sure you guys have some people out there. Yep. Yeah, we and, might even uh, do some AMs next time too, dude, mixed in. Be cool. So it's not just all pros. So yeah, just some AMs. Yeah, because Comment below if you want to see me tattoo Chris as well, because people yeah. keep asking me on my channel, can you do a tattoo vlog, tattoo vlog, and I'm like, oh, yeah. I don't really tattoo we'll anyone, do... like, I, you know, but I feel yeah, like yeah. if we did a vlog like that, it'd I think turn it, out pretty cool. Yeah, because we could talk about, because we last time I, he got, I got tattooed by him, he told me about all of his stories, tattoo yeah. stories, and we had a really cool great. session. They man. are great uh, stories. Yeah. Uh, check so out, check out Sean. I'm gonna have his links in the bio below. He's check an amazing out skateboarder. Channel too. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. In the he's description. A, he's an amazing skateboarder. He makes great videos. They're funny. They're really art related. You, you go around on a motorcycle graffiti yeah. and stuff. I like have, to do a lot of stuff. I yeah, like to do he, a lot of he, stuff. He does all kinds of things on his channel, and I promise you, you will not be disappointed. There's another video right here of us together at an abandoned mall. To go yes, check that check out. It out. And uh, I love you guys so much. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Remember, guys, stay alive. Yep. I will see you soon. Thank you for watching.